could be heard portion, we've got Mr. Michael Knoll. Mr. Knoll, if you'll come forward, please. For the record, state your name and address. Uh, good evening, uh, Commissioners, uh, Chairman Slaughter. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Michael Knoll. I do reside with my wonderful family at 2305 Glendale Drive here in Valdosta, Georgia. I wanted to come back tonight, two weeks after the last uh, meeting I attended, to on one hand actually hand out a document that uh, resembles the public comment my colleagues and I uh, submitted uh, to uh, Mr. Uh, Alan Richmond in Texas in relationship to the housing project, our projected housing project at the Valdell Parcel. I would like to share this with everyone, if I can. And I want to keep this brief uh, because basically already uh, mentioned the concerns that we have at the last time. I only can add to that that for the second time now in, in two weeks we have tried to uh, go with representatives of Moody Air Force Base as well as individuals who work for essentially the Engineering Research Development Center as well as the civil engineering support all in relationship to essentially uh, the U.S. Air Force. Uh, we have been, for the second time, uh, basically denied access to the land in order to simply take a look at it and determine whether or not uh, there are um, um, truly concerns we should pay attention to in regard to possible development of the area. We also have not been granted access yet, and it doesn't seem like we will have access to the geotechnical analysis because both the contractor as well as uh, those who did uh, the actual analysis are private entities and are not, um, uh, therefore, by law, uh, in a situation that they have to share these documents with us. But from a commonsensical point of view, which I think uh, you will all will agree with, uh, the importance of transparency and due diligence uh, is in all these, these kinds of projects, of course, very important. And my question I have as a normal citizen is if there is nothing to hide, if there are no problems with a possible development of the area, why not share the report? As it is, we're currently fishing in the blind from a point of view as what the actual situation is. After conversations I had with my colleagues again today, we had a phone conference with a number of individuals. Uh, we come to the same conclusion that those concerns that are also listed in this public comment are still valid. And I do encourage the uh, commissioners to uh, basically um, make sure that before any development occurs that there is a guarantee as in that these kinds of analysis have been carried out, that we're doing the right thing, both in terms of environmental aspects as well as when it comes to the safety of the uh, military families that might be occupying these areas. And we're not trying to create any troubles. Actually, we wanted to communicate and cooperate in this particular uh, incident, but for some reason or another, we have been blocked or stonewalled so far, and that's unfortunate. And that's all. Okay. Thank you Thanks, so much. Thanks, sir.